Let's begin the video with two funny moments from Magnus Carlsen. Well, let's exchange queens. Doesn't he know that I'm supposed to be the greatest endgame player of all time? I guess it's funny because it's true, right? He's such a chicken. I mean, yeah, the lack of uh, cojones is, is astounding and uh, quite disappointing. If Magnus Carlsen plays this against you, try this. I noticed Magnus played this line against three players during the banter blitz, yet all three players replied passively. Even Magnus asks, what are they so afraid of? I shall be very disappointed if I do not. Everybody does something else. What is it about this particular opening that is so scary? Tell me people, okay? Magnus first tried this in a long play game against Mickey Adams back in 2010. And with a little twist. I, uh, I lost to Mickey Adams with this line at, um, at the Olympiad in 2010. Quickly analyzing the game Magnus mentioned, e4, g6, d4, knight f6, e5, knight h5. Later in the video, I will look at bishop e3 with knight c3. This looks like the critical try against this system. Bishop e2, d6. We get the pieces out, and it looks like white just has a lot of space. Rook e1 with h3, and a very, very nice position for white. The opening has gone a bit wrong for Magnus. White has a very nice space advantage. g5, critical moment. Take, take, knight e4. Black is definitely weak on the white squares. Knight g7, queen d2 with f4. Bishop f6, no need to take it. King h2, get the pieces to the g file. Rook g1, rook f1, swing the queen over, queen d3. And now bishop f3, rerouting this bishop and a very dangerous attack. b5, just reroute it, bishop c2. Rook g6, very cool move. f5. The final blunder after take, this is mate. King h7, just rook g1, queen e7 now. No point playing take, take. The diagonal pressure is just too much. If queen e7, rook takes g7. Double check, and then queen check mate. Queen e7, knight g3, take, take. Triple on the g file. Queen f7, bishop d1. And now a cool combination to finish it off. Mickey plays rook takes h6 and Magnus resigned. But why? King takes queen h4. Doesn't knight h5 uh, block the check on the h file? Here, white has rook g5 and that ends it straight away. Threatening to take on h5. Take queen g5 check and bishop takes h5. The crucial fact is rook e2 check is not possible. And here, white will be completely winning. If you went queen f8 check, actually, just to be precise, yeah, just queen g6 and then queen e8. Now we will look at the most critical setup, which is to go e5 straight away. In the three games during the banter blitz, no one played the critical try, e5. After knight h5, Magnus mentioned the game against Mickey Adams. Instead of bishop e2, why not go bishop e3? But why? Why is this the best move? Let's assume black tries to break up the center. Now what? Knight c3. The point of bishop e3 is then knight c3. We have very quick queenside development. Few moves are possible. Let's look at d takes e5 first. And after take, it looks like after the queens come off, white just has a better endgame. There's this silly knight on h5, which is out of the game. Yes, it can come back to g7 and to e6, which we see in a variation. Knight g7. You can go f4. Bishop f5, knight d5, knight e6, and then play from here. Still white is a little better. What else was possible here? If you go knight d5 first, then knight e6, f4, and then you just continue here. Probably just chase it back, and after knight c3, in positions like this, you just take white. White's a little bit better. After knight c3, what else was possible? You could go knight g7 anyway, planning to go knight f5 or knight e6, but why not f4? Gaining space. If take, you take, 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 bishop g4. Similar to the other line with the queen swap. But what's the difference? The bishops can come off. 
but it's still the same thing in my opinion why is still a little better in this endgame after knight c3 there was the third try bishop g7 which is the worst attempt now here f4 is a good move but what is wrong with g4 d takes e5 and we see the problem if you play this move which is bad queen takes d1 rook takes d1 and then bishop takes g4 oops so after d takes e5 you go queen f3 e d4 castle and this just looks really crazy if you take you can go knight c6 next or maybe c5 black has all his pawns which is really funny and white has five pawns so it really is three pawns for the piece in this weird position bishop g7 f4 if you take take and then castle well bishop e2 white's a little bit better here so that's it